So we're here at Gosco this morning. That's where we're going to get our Bobcat and Sandy machines from. Hopefully for the Dark Fest build. Um, it's really short notice. Hey! Good morning, boys. You're you ready to go? go? You're ready to go. So I've just got confirmation downstairs that it told me we can probably see him today or tomorrow. Why? And your 20 tonner should arrive next week, some either Wednesday or Friday. Perfect. Well, let's let's go with this one. Yeah, awesome. These guys have been wicked for such such short notice. We uh, got a bit more bit more planning to do, and then we're ready to dig. Nice and steep roads here at Darkfest. Because steep roads equals speed. Here we go. Darkfest build day one. The Darkfest hat is out. We're back in everyone's favourite vehicle, the Prado, and we're going to head up. Me and Ryan here are just going to start taking off all those logs and take the tarps off and um, kind of see what's going on underneath. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, that's what we're dealing with here pretty much. Not going too bad, is it? We've done sort of, I don't know, 15 meters, 20 meters. And there's another, <laughs> another half a mile to go. So yeah, all the sticks are off there. It's quite annoying, but it's all done now, which is good. And look, we managed to get all the sticks and the tarp off this lift of the big 90 footer. And actually it looks like it's definitely a hand job. We need to dig a bit of drainage. Yeah, the little puddle at the bottom. It's still there. So yeah, we just need to dig it out down there and drain it away that way. So it's not our problem anymore. And then we have a 90 footer. And here it is. Our first machine has just arrived. We got this nice Bobcat five tanner. We've got this one and we've also got a 20 ton machine coming next week, but we're going to use this for a few things. First thing we're going to do with it is to make that drainage up to the side of the 90 footer to try and get that to start drying out. Um, we do have a bit of rain coming this week. So we've got to make sure that's ready to go before that comes. And uh, whilst I'm doing that, because we don't have much time, I'm here for one week and then Sea Dog's coming next week. So we've got a total of two weeks. Now the machine's arrived. My time is best spent in here. And we've, um, we've hired in the farm workers. Normally they're working on the farm here, but they're going to help us up there to get the tarps off. So uh, yeah, a bit of teamwork. And um, I think we can get a lot of work done. So here we are at the run into the 90, where we get all our speed. Um, obviously, because we need so much speed, the ground here needs to be completely solid, which as you saw, it's not really. So, I've made a drain along the side. I've sorted this drainage out down here, so it's going to drain out there and hopefully dry out this wet patch down here. And same with this berm, just roughed it all up, um, basically, to let it dry out for a couple of days. And whilst it's doing that, we're going to get on with something else. Justin from the trails crew has actually come to help out and uh, he's hopped in the machine for the morning and uh, we're going to sort out this landing. He's just taking the logs off and then we're going to fluff it up, shape it, make that burn. And um, yeah, it's a quite nice, easy thing to do uh, before the big machine arrives uh, next week, along with Sea Dog. Uh, he couldn't quite fly out this early. So um, yeah, it's just me and Justin and Ryan for a little bit. Um, and we're going to do what we can until he gets here to finish it all out. covered quite a lot of the course actually now um, you can see we've done the 90 the hip landing the run into the step up and everything pretty much except the last jump so things are coming along nicely um, looks like we might have a bit of rain tomorrow um, so I think I'm gonna make the most of it and uh, build up my jump bike um, kind of the wind is looking pretty good this evening I actually bought my dirt jump bike with me and um, Whilst we're here, we're gonna go ride the Hell's End dirt jumps. Some of the best dirt jumps in the world, actually. So it would be rude not to go and check them out, wouldn't it? So we're riding with Ike, who lives here on the farm, uh, who you guys have met. But if you haven't met, Jack Attack MTB on Instagram. Legend on the Instagram. <laughs> How old are you, Jack? I'm 11. 11? Yeah. And he's banging out some good manuals here on the track. Some good speed. Such a good little mini pump track, the berms are so steep. Whoa! Is your pump I reckon you could triple back. Triple back from I need full power. From the burn. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you got it. Dude, no way, man. That's insane. No way, it's again. <laughs> oh my. Oh. <laughs> oh, pump track's too good. Sure. 
Okay, I don't, I'm out of challenge. Just send it to the tiny landing. It's super deadly. I don't know if I actually want to do it. Potentially. on that last triple extreme. But um, let's try the jump before it gets dark, shall we? Nike, let's follow. Yeah. It's just the classic hip line, isn't it? I yeah. think I remember it. Yeah. Oh, that's flippy. Oh, that is sick. That's a little slippery, eh? Oh, that first firm. Yeah. They're so good. I've never ridden them on my jump bike. I've come here like a couple years, but only ridden them on my trail bike, which is cool, but it's not as good as this. This is epic. Yeah, let's follow you then, Dildo, the Loke dogs. Are you ready? Oh, I don't know. Okay. I don't know if I am. Oh my God. Oh my God. What? Oh my God. Oh my God. That is the sickest set of jumps ever, man. So glad I bought my bike. So worth the excess yeah, baggage. <laughs> Right, go on then, fellas. Yeah. Unfortunately, too dark. I could ride these for five more hours. I think. <laughs> All day, every day. Oh, shame! What a sesh. Oh, it's good. I guess we'll wrap that video up there. Sadly, um, still quite a lot more digging to do. And sadly, we found these jumps, which mm, big statement. They could be the best jumps in the world, <laughs> dude. I've not been that stoked on jumps in ages. Um, but yeah, we got to build some big ones tomorrow. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned. The build's going to continue tomorrow.